In this video, I'd like to show four versions of a sort of simple view app that allows a user to enter the number of hours worked in a week and the hourly wage, and then do a calculation, which will include the possibility of overtime. So the uh, link for the code, if you wanted to download it, is here. Okay. So all four are going to do essentially the same thing. Um, there's a number of hours worked and an hourly wage and a button, except in the last one, I'll remove the button in order to perform a calculation. So if they change the salary, uh, it clears out. If they change the hours, it clears out. We do the calculation. Let's go up to $10 so it's easy to see the results of the calculation. If it was 39 at $10 an hour, it was 390, 40 is 400. But once you get to 41, now you are in overtime hours for that last hour, you will get $15 rather than just 10. And there it is for 15, okay. So that's what we want to show. And here's how it goes. So this first one, let me open up my Explorer here. I have a uh, some style, input of type button, input of type number, body, uh, and label. So just some styling, fine, and it's pretty much the same styling for all of them. Uh, the HTML we were looking at a little bit. There is a link to the CDN. So there's a script tag I have up here in the head, which is connecting to the, the view code up on the internet, the CDN, the content delivery network. And here's the connection to the CSS that we showed. This uh, header paragraph, this div, this div is where we're going to mount um, our view code. So the view code will be applied here. There is a label and and place to input the hours, as we see. There is a label and an input to enter the wage. The wage goes up by uh, 0.25 if you use the little up-down arrows on the side. That was that step. Uh, that why I made it of the type number uh, makes it that I can mostly just type numbers in there, though I think I can type a minus sign, a uh, period, and an E for computer's version of scientific notation. Um, the V model here says that I'm going to have in my code, in the view code, there's a portion called data, and there will be a property there, and I'll sometimes call it a variable for the hours and the this v model equals user hours connects what's in this uh, element to that variable and then anything I anywhere where I put that variable on the page or calculate that variable on the page uh, will get updated. And I also have an on change, which calls a clear method, which we'll see when we jump over to JavaScript. Uh, same thing for wage. Uh, there's a V model for user wage. There's a V on change calling the same clear method. And the step of 0.25, we saw that's effect. We have a button. We have an input of the button type. The value of button is what it says. There's a V on click, which will connect us to a method calc salary. So we're expecting at least two methods, a clear method, a calculate a cal cal salary method. And then I am displaying on the page the user salary. That's down here. And I have a connection to the uh, script. So in this version, I have a constant I'm calling salary. Uh, there's this data portion of view. Uh, like the state in React, and it has uh, user 
user hours, user wage, user salary, and the sort of initial values. And this is in a sort of a, a JSON-like notation of you know property name colon value. Okay, here are the methods. As promised, two methods: the calc salary and the my clear. Um, it's got this notation of the name of the function colon the word function that it's a function that handles an event, and then I just have the this refers to the uh, basically sort of I'll call it the object the object we have the data it has a property so this refers to the data of our object. Uh, it has a property user hours. If the user hours is less than 40, you want to calculate the salary to be the wage times the hours. Uh, otherwise, it's the 40 times the wage plus the user hours minus 40, the overtime hours times the wage times 1.5. That's that method. And then we have our other method. And that's when the user is changing the values. I'm not recalculating, I'm just clearing out the answer. So if we change any of the input data, um, clearing out the answer, that's what my clear does. And then we must uh, mount, uh, I had it all called salary. I must mount, use create, create app uh, using this code that we found in salary and mount it to a uh, div salary. So we made something called salary, then we use the create app, a method of view to create it and then mount it on the page to the element with an ID of div salary. Okay, so that was version one. And again, they're all gonna do the same. So the explanations will get faster, I hope, I promise. Um, Version two uses a module. So let me get rid of all these. Not much changes in version two. But I have taken out before in version one, the, uh, the, the connection to the CDN was here in the HTML in the head in a script tag. But we've taken that out. And there is a now a script tag at the bottom, which I'm saying is of type module, and it's connecting to some JavaScript. So then here's the JavaScript, and the JavaScript, which is of the module type, is uh, I'm importing create app, a method from this site. So instead of the a sort of link link to this uh, website uh, over in HTML. We're doing an import here in JavaScript. And then um, I'm working here with a sort of a more anonymous version or I'm working straight in create. So before I gave it a name and it had all this code. And then at the bottom, I used view create app and and use the name that I had given it. But here we're working straight with the create app that we've just imported and having the data and the methods and then go straight into a mount. So that I'll call it like the anonymous. So two things, it's the JavaScript has become a module and uh, we are getting the view code by an import in the JavaScript rather than uh, in a script tag in the in the uh, HTML, and we sort of made it more anonymous that we are mounting straight uh, rather than giving this a name and then using view create app mount. We're just going straight to create app mount. Okay, so that was version two. Version three, I'm going back more like to version one, but I downloaded the stuff rather than, okay. So I'm usually a CDN guy, I like CDNs, but occasionally the internet goes crazy and uh, we have a problem. So here is uh, the HTML 
And this is where previously in version one, I had a link up to the internet to grab the view code. And instead, I sort of went up to the internet and grabbed the view code myself and copied it and made a file and sort of brought that file down and put it uh, as a sibling to all my other files here. And I'm linking to it. So I'm just linking to a local version so if the internet were to go down, this is the version that would still work. And otherwise, uh, this one is the same. So I brought down, I went to that link that was in version one and uh, opened it up and it show, showed me the JavaScript code, which I then sort of copied, pasted into a document. I called it view.global.js. And then um, I'm linking to that as a local file now. And then otherwise, this one is the same as uh, version one. Okay, so that was version three, just local file instead of C, and then there it is. So we're not going to look at all their long, long code, but um, I just copied it. Okay, so I'm not I'm not going to explain it. I'm not responsible for it. Okay, let's look at the last version. The last version looks a little bit different because in this last version, that's three, here's four. In the last version, I am getting rid of the button. So before I, if I changed the powers, I was sort of clearing out the result and only getting the new result when they clicked a button. But now as the uh, numeric uh, inputs are changed, uh, the number of inputs are changed, the calculation is redone. So let me get it up to 10 and 40. So here's 39 hours, here's 40 hours, here's 41 hours. And we see that we still have the overtime calculation. So there's still some kind of condition. There's still some kind of if in here. And I'm using uh, a v if v else uh, approach to get that. So let's have a look. OK, the style we've seen, the style's been pretty constant throughout. Here is the uh, JS in this case. I'm going to be calculating on the page, on, on the HTML. Um, so all I've done here in data over in the JS file is establish some initial values of 20 and 725. Okay, so let's go back to the HTML, uh, link to the style, link to the CDN, link to our, our view salary.js where we got our initial values. And then here's the label and the text or number input and the label and the other number input. And then I have two uh, divs for displaying before and uh, if they have less, less than or equal to 40 hours and uh, otherwise. So here's a div with a V if. V if is a sort of controls the visibility of an element. And so this element is, is on display, is visible when the user hours are less than or equal to 40. And then we are doing the calculation, the hours times the wage. And then I am Curly Curly says that this is view and it involves view variables or view properties and do do uh, make a substitution and maybe do a calculation, in this case, a calculation. So I'm taking hours times wage, and I'm also doing a two fix, so giving it two decimal places. And then I have a V else, so that is associated as else's are with a V if, and this is what we are going to show if this condition is false. And then we are just doing the the overtime. So I'm taking the first 40 hours as themselves, and then the user hours minus 40. These are the overtime hours and multiplying them by 1.5 and then multiplying that whole thing by the user wage. And I'm, again, showing it with two decimal places. 
the dollar sign out front is outside of Carly Carly's, so it's just a plain old dollar sign. And that is how that last version uh, worked. So that's what I wanted to show you, uh, a very simple app, but different versions of the same app. Uh, version one, I'll call the, like, the straightforward one. Uh, the second one used this uh, concept of a module, so we moved the connection to the view code into an import in the JavaScript. The second one was like the first one, except I brought all the view code down, so then it was uh, local. And the last one, I eliminated the button, so then it's always calculating. And, but since my calculation involved an if, I sort of uh, have an if, uh, a V if, and a V else on the page. All right, that's what I wanted to show you. Thank you much for your attention.